So yesterday, I mentioned Kevin Talbot and his uh, quarantine Monster Jam style competition. So, and Todd Bertram mentioned, you didn't give us a preview? No test? No running? So I'm like, okay, I will. Todd, this one's for you. So I'm going to take it to the back, show you guys what the truck's got, build a small, about 10 by 20-ish, since that seems to be about right, put some stuff in there and see what the truck's got. Take a look. The problem is going to be keeping this thing within boundaries. <laughs> Turn pretty good. Yep, gonna be interesting. So it was mentioned that the size should be roughly 10 foot wide by 20 foot long. <laughs> Not much room to work with. Looks like I can do something in it though. I'll have these measured out correctly. Oh. Put some ramps in here. Now the thing about this truck, it does let the brake rod in. So I'm going to try to do a quick fix on that to try to keep them alive. But got some bike ramps in my crunch cars. Can't really slide it through the cyclone. Oh, well, I can with that way, huh? Now, what if we run out of balance in my situation? Oh, 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 oh like that. Does that mean I'm in, I'm in the driver's stand or in the, uh, in the, uh, what am I trying to say? Where the spectators watch? up my barriers already now say you're over like this well never mind i was hoping i was gonna be able to flip it back over but this will be my uh free hand of god i think i'm over two minutes now Oh, staying in balance is going to be hard. Oh, remember what I told you about the uh, tie rod? That's what I've got to get fixed. 
I may try to build a new one. It's ripping the threads out of the Erivo rod ends. I guess if I can't get this fixed, I'll drive it like Dennis Anderson until I do that, right? Now that I found out, it's really hard to keep this thing in a confined space. Um, there's my weak link. It came off over there the other day, but I changed to, actually that's a uh, Capra link. I believe it is, I put that on there. May try that on the other side, or I may just try to build a whole new arm out of something a little better. The back one is made out of steel with the same links, but it, it seems to hold up for some reason. It's floppy floppy, but still. Um, two 3S, 3000 milliamp batteries, they are in parallel, so, um, one battery just isn't enough to really keep this truck running without killing batteries. Mamba Monster X, GT5 radio, obviously four wheel steering. Let's see, I believe I've got a 1900 KV 18 scale motor. MIP drive shafts, um, Yeti arms, um, custom aluminum top links. And inside there, hard to see it. There you go, a little bit. That's an Ofna center diff out of an e-buggy. So basically, it can get some overdrive up front. It can, it can kind of diff out a little bit up front, but really that's kind of like the, uh, a quad buster will do that with dual motors. Oh, the servos, let me see. Old Turnigy 959 V1s. So those are proven to be really, really tough. That's why I'm running, well, this is a V2. Ah, sorry but anyway so far that v2 is surviving back there i've got a v1 in the bin in there but anyway techno shocks um sway bar using some cpe arms and custom links it's my wheelie skid to try to protect the body this up here is a bunch of cushion to try to keep the body alive because well before i put those up it would flex and then the frame would just rip right through the body. So, other than that, I mean, Barbarian chassis. I guess it's kind of a standard monster truck. Oh, sorry, forgot to mention the axles. Those are the uh, narrowed Mad Force axles. And it does have Ofna universal drives in here. So, no more dog bones on this thing. I think the tires are um, V1 Mad Crusher, I think. I have no idea what these wheels are. I think they're some kind of IMEX wheel, but I have no idea. They run good, they look good, and that's my truck. Well guys, so there you go. What do you think? I gotta get that tie rod to be a little bit more solid. I think I'm gonna try to do something with that, and hopefully, Wednesday, I'll actually be able to do my recording. I'm hoping. So hopefully weather holds up and allows me to get this done. So I was surprised at the backflips. It was pretty easy to do the backflips, actually. Um, staying in that little confined area is going to be tough. So and when I actually do it, I'm going to actually have all those pieces taped and it'll be legit measured. So... Hopefully I can stay in the arena. Not sure how the rules are going to be if I happen to bounce up on it and back over. I mean, it's, it's, it's a fun thing, right? And that's what I'm planning to do. I do, however, the steering piece, which I actually put back in, that's been an ongoing issue and I've been needing to fix that anyway. So I guess it's time. Guys, hopefully you liked the video. Check that description because there are links in there. I don't know what I'm gonna be able to find for links on this truck since it's, uh, well, you can't just go buy this truck. But I will put some links in there for eBay and Amazon. They will be affiliate links. So if you have anything in your cart for either of those two sales sites, uh, just click on any of my links. Go there, check out. It changes nothing on your end or the seller's end. It's just a little bit of commission off the big guy, eBay or Amazon. So guys, hopefully you liked the video and uh, 
Uh, getting this thing done, two minutes, uncut. That's going to be a challenge. Guys, thank you all for watching. If you guys like the channel and want to help it out a little bit, you can click that join button and that should become a channel member. Members get special privileges, maybe even some member giveaways. So make sure you check that out. And as always, subscribe, like, and share. Thank you guys for watching.